Hello everyone! So in this video I'm going to chat about the best things you can do to prepare for admissions assessments for Oxbridge, that is Oxford and Cambridge universities. I'm a student at Cambridge University myself in my third year. So how many years ago was it that I took an admissions assessment? If I'm, this is my third year. Okay, so three years ago, I sat the admissions assessment for natural sciences. It was actually the first year of that admissions assessment. So it had never happened before. And it was the first year they introduced the admissions assessment for natural sciences. It has been running since then. And there are now admissions assessments for most subjects at Cambridge. There are also admissions assessments at Oxford for most subjects. And these assessments are either pre-interview assessments, which are at the end of October or assessments which are held at interview so literally on your interview day you will have your assessment then. Basically these admissions assessments are just one part of an application to Oxford or Cambridge but they are kind of the next big step once you've submitted your personal statement. A lot of people ask me about how they prepare because obviously I've taken one of the admissions assessments and to be honest with you I don't think there is a big secret to cracking these admissions assessments. They're nothing to worry about too much but yeah in this video hopefully I can just put you at ease and tell you a few small tips that might help out a little. Okay first thing you need to do is make sure you're registered for it because just by submitting your UCAS form or whatever application form you submitted that isn't enough that doesn't automatically register you for these tests you need to register at your nearest test centre and there is a deadline for this. The deadline this year is... 15th of October. The tests are sat this year on the 30th of October. The deadline for registering is the 15th of October. That's just for this year. It varies year to year, I think. So just be on it with those dates and make sure you register in time because it would be quite gutting to not register in time and then that's yeah, your whole application down the drain. Actually, let's backtrack a bit. Hopefully by this point you actually know what admissions assessment you need to sit. If not, check the course page on the university website and make sure you look at the up-to-date stuff on what admissions assessment you need to register for. On the course pages you should also be able to access past papers and a specimen paper for the assessment you're sitting. Look at these, have an attempt at them, familiarise yourself with the question style, the format of the papers, make sure you know what to expect. Important things to know are like how long should the paper last, what topics is it going to cover? There's normally a specification that you can look at. And here is the biggest thing I'm going to say to you in this video. Practice these papers under timed conditions. I cannot stress this enough. The natural sciences admissions assessment that I sat was the most time pressured exam I've ever sat in my life. It was that time pressured and they are designed to be that way. This is Oxford and Cambridge, the admissions process is designed to be challenging so don't expect it to be a breeze, practice under time conditions. To be honest I practiced the specimen paper before sitting my admissions assessment and even when I was in the real thing I was still shocked at how time pressured it was. Make sure you've got your watch with you. I actually broke my watch halfway through my admissions assessment which was just gutting. Maybe take two watches actually if you're going to break your watch like me. <laughs> Make sure you know the syllabuses for your A-levels well because for the natural sciences admissions assessment in particular it's literally based on the A-level syllabuses but taken to that next level. The case is similar for a lot of the admissions assessments for a lot of subjects. They literally base it on the corresponding A-level syllabus, but just make it 10 times harder. And by that I mean, you only need the knowledge that you've been taught in your A-level lessons, but you have to apply it to all these unseen new situations. In fact, I'd say some of the questions in these admissions assessments aren't that challenging in themselves. The challenging part is doing them in 30 seconds. Given two minutes to do the question, you could boom, easy. But when you've got 30 seconds to do it, you just have to be really on it. Some of these assessments aren't actually tied to an A-level syllabus, but a lot of them are. For example, the natural sciences one is based on the A-level syllabuses for sciences and maths. So the assessment only assumes knowledge that you have been taught in your lessons at school. It's kind of like Olympiad style questions. 
I don't know how familiar you all are with Olympiads, but they're like competitions where you sit an extra challenging paper based on your A-level syllabus, but again, just stretching you further. There's different stages and you get bronze, silver, gold awards from it. And a lot of people sit them at school. But even if you're not sitting them at school, look up online the Olympiad papers and practice some of those questions because it will give you more practice at stretching yourself with your A-level knowledge. I mean, do all the past papers first, but there might only be a couple of past papers to do if your admissions assessment hasn't been running for that many years. A lot of them were only introduced a few years ago. So yeah, this is another source of questions. Olympiad style questions are a good shout. Or even, it doesn't even have to be called like Olympiad. There's a thing called the Cambridge Chemistry Challenge. A lot of the questions in that were very similar to the ones that I got in my natural sciences admissions assessment. So yeah, Olympiad style questions, search them up online. They are free to access, I think. So they're worth looking at. Also, this point is specific to the natural sciences admissions assessment, the NSAA. But a lot of the questions in it are actually identical to some past BMAT questions. So it's worth going through some past papers for the BMAT. The BMAT is the admissions assessment for medicine. Just a quick tip there. But yeah, whatever admissions assessment you're sitting, past papers, time conditions, get familiar with the exam format and that's as much as you can do really. Cambridge and Oxford say themselves, it's not expected that you're going to answer every question correctly. A lot of people are not going to finish the paper in the time allowed. These assessments are designed to differentiate between high achievers. A lot of applicants are all going to be getting all A stars. How do you differentiate between those? They need a really high level assessment. So that is why it's so challenging. I remember going to a talk back when I was considering applying to Cambridge. So this was many, many years ago. And they were only just introducing the natural sciences admissions assessment. And they were like, they had no idea what sort of scores people were gonna come out with, but they only expected 50%-ish. And even now I think they say on the website, 50% is a good score in that assessment. At A-level, you're used to getting 90% plus and that being good. But you have to kind of readjust and realize that actually 50% is good. So a lot of people leave the admissions assessment thinking I completely failed that, What that went awfully. I personally left my Cambridge admissions assessment and was honestly like, that's it, I'm done. I've broken my watch, my favorite watch, and I failed the admissions assessment, what a bad day. And then I got an interview and subsequently got offered a place. So yeah, don't be scared when these admissions assessments are challenging. To be honest, I would say don't study too much for them. Cramming just won't work with these admissions assessments. They are just testing your aptitude, how your brain works, can you adapt to these new situations and apply your knowledge, how good is your critical thinking, all that. It's not worth over preparing basically, just do your best. And don't stress too much over them because they are literally one small part of the application. Cambridge takes a holistic approach to applications as does Oxford, meaning they never consider one part of the application in isolation. If you do a poor performance in the admissions assessment, that might not matter if you perform really, really well at interview. So they consider everything, your GCSE results, A-level predictions, your personal statement, your interview performance, your admissions assessment performance, all that jazz they take it all into account. The admissions assessment is not the be all and end all. Although Cambridge and Oxford do kind of take different approaches to it. Cambridge actually interviews a lot more people than Oxford do. Oxford will have a cutoff point from the admissions assessment, i.e. the top 60% they will interview and anyone who scored below that doesn't get an interview. So that is maybe quite brutal. Whereas Cambridge will pretty much interview everyone unless both their admissions assessment and their personal statement UCAS application are together quite poor, then they might not interview them. But for the most part, Cambridge will interview most people. So the universities do kind of take a different approach to it, but that's not meant to panic you. There are just a lot of hurdles to get over when it comes to an application to Oxbridge. The application process 
does take a lot of time and effort. You do get quite invested in it. But I'm honestly so glad that I did it because it's meant I've had a fab time at university at Cambridge. I've loved it and it did work out well for me. I did get offered a place. I know it doesn't work out that way for everyone. But also you've got to think, wouldn't you regret it if you didn't try? I can't speak for Oxford, but I would honestly recommend Cambridge University to so many people. It is a really good university. I'd highly encourage applying, even though it may sound like a tough application process. It's designed to be that way. But yeah, I think that's it for today. If you are sitting at an admissions assessment, good luck. You have got this. Believe in yourself. Give the video a like, <laughs> subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me over on Instagram. Comment down below if you have any more questions about Cambridge applications and I'll try answer them or I'll make another video. Thanks for watching guys! Bye!